Thank you very, very much, and a very, very good afternoon, everybody. I am Guy Browning, and uh, just in case any of you are sitting there thinking, did he referee the last World Cup, <laughs> I just wanted to say very quickly who I am. So for about 20 years, I wrote a column in the uh, Guardian, um, office politics column about how people um, work at work, which I had to write, because I've always had a day job, I had to write during my lunch break, which I took between 10 and 4.30 every day. And uh, then I wrote a column for Management Today called Week at the Top about uh, how senior directors cope with continual change in their company cars. And, uh, <laughs> and I wrote a third column for People Management about the vital need for innovation and fresh thinking. It was pretty much a rehash of the other two columns, if uh, I'm absolutely honest. And uh, so that's, um, that's a bit of what I do on the writing side, but on the day job is I've always been involved in creative thinking. So I started as an advertising copywriter, great job, and then went on to a marketing agency where I was creative director, set up my own agency about 15 years ago, which just concentrates on helping big companies come up with new ideas for things. And what I'd like to do today, and I've only got about an hour, is to show you some of the techniques that uh, we've found working together in businesses. You can change your thinking uh, really quickly and come up with new ideas for things or just change the way you do stuff. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. I haven't got very long. I've only got an hour. And I'm going to try and make it interactive. So I'm going to be moving very quickly to give you lots of techniques. So I'm not going to get too much feedback from you, if you don't mind, because I want to show you stuff, if that's all right by you. And um, I'm very, very pleased to be here because it's a fantastic um, um, program of speakers. And I was also told that you'll really love doing this because we only ever have people in the audience who are charming, intelligent and attractive. And I'd just like to prove that now. Hands up if you're sitting next to somebody charming, intelligent <laughs> and attractive. <laughs> you see that? Where do, where do they get these people from? That's extraordinary. Although there were a couple of black holes there, weren't there? <laughs> Hands up if you're sitting next to somebody charming but thick. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, that's fantastic. Now, also, I'm very conscious that it is, um, it's just uh, after lunch. And normally, if I was in the office, I'd be getting my special Perspex holder that I put on my screen to hold my head so I, I can have a bit of a nap. So. Um, um, what I'm going to do is a very, very quick warm-up, OK? Nothing too physical, just a bit of a mental warm-up. I'm just going to ask you a few questions, uh, but don't panic, because they're all yes-no questions. And uh, just to make it really, really straightforward, the answer to all the questions is, in fact, yes. <laughs> so do you think you can manage that? Yes. Do you think you can manage it a little bit louder? Yes. What does the Russian word da mean in English? Yes. Did you really know that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I tell you, I don't get this quality of audience. Oh, dear. OK, uh, what in the uh, popular children's series, The Mr. Men, what was Mr. Affirmative's catchphrase? <laughs> in a meeting with your boss, what's the word you're most likely to use? <laughs> in the job you're currently doing, wouldn't it be fair if you were paid a little bit extra? <laughs> and in the film When Harry Met Sally, what was Meg Ryan's most famous <laughs> line? <laughs> OK, all right, let's crack on. I think you're all warmed up. Um, we're going to be talking about innovation and creativity. The difference between the two, obviously, is innovation. So creativity is thinking new things, and innovation is actually making them happen, two different things. And um, let's have a definition of innovation just to kick us off. Here we go. Innovation is what senior management require middle management to get from junior management. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> clearly, it doesn't always work. And, um, but uh, I, I've looked through the, uh, the um, attendee sheet, and I know that you've all got uh, innovation top of the corporate agenda. Is anybody here old enough to remember quality? <laughs> no, we're here, just this gentleman here. We well, can forget about that now, because innovation, top of the corporate agenda. And everyone has to do it, and people say, yes, we've got to think differently, but they don't do it. Now, why is that? Uh, well, this is normally why people don't innovate. We've all been there. <laughs> now, the amazing thing about this chart is that, actually, if you want to innovate, you have to start at the bottom and work your way back up, OK? <laughs> so uh, death, right? Death means you have to kill off some stuff. You have to be brutal. You have to kill off some old stuff. Otherwise, there won't be any room for new stuff. 